So hello everyone, my name is Akshay and welcome to our GFG PO this week of day 106. So if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that we can learn, grow and maintain our streak together. So let's get started with the today's question. The question name is intersection point and Y shape link list. Now the question is very standard one. Like if you have ever uh, learned link list while studying the data structure, then this question is a must question that is uh, there in each and every course or each and every sheet, if you say. So let's see what the question says. So it says that the given two singly list link list of size n and m, write a program to get the point where two link lists intersect each other. So it is saying that there are two link lists. One link list is have the elements three, six, nine, and the common part of the second link list. And the second list link list is having the ten as the n and the common part. So as you can see here, the common part is fifteen and thirty. And the unique part of the first link list is 3, 6, 9. And the unique part of the second one is the just one node that is 10. So I need to find a point where these two link lists merge into one, right? So if you see that two, two lists merging into one, it will look like a Y shape, right? If you look, it will look like a Y shape. And as you can see, the first node where it merges is 15. So that's why 15 is our answer, right? So, okay, let us visualize this in the paint. So as I said, when the two link lists merge, it looks like a Y shape. How, 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 how I was saying that, that this is here, as you can see this one, this is the point of merging and this one, so it is, it is a Y shaped uh, overall link list, right? So what we can do here is, what we can do here is first step that uh, uh, a very basic method, a very naive method coming to my mind is what if we maintain a hash set, right? And we put the each and every element of the first link for the first link list in this hash set. So it will be like 3, 6, 9, 15, and 30. Right? Hash set will include these elements. And if and in this and then after this, I will traverse in the second link list. And I will for each and every element I will check that if if this thing is present in my this hash set one, right? So for the second link list, then the elements will be node. So I will check if 10 is present. So it will say, no, it is not present. Then I will check 15 is present. So it is present. I will say, this is my point of intersection of my link list. But this approach will take O of N time, the traversal and O of N as the space complexity, right? And the constraint given is to us is our 10 power five. And the maximum time complexity we can use is N root N for this constraint. And if you do not understand how, how, how am I saying this? This 10 power 8 logic, then I have made this time complexity video on this. You must watch it. It must be flashing up here now. So we can use n root n and we can use the maximum as n root n. You can go like below as much as you can. So it will be n, then log n, and so on. Right? So okay, and the hash set will the method one, the naive method will be like O of n and O of n. But there is one catch here. Like I can see that let's say suppose the first element was not 10, but it was 6, right? That if there are duplicates elements present in the both the linguists before getting merged, right? So what it will say that instead of 10, I have six and then it will match with the hash set one and it will say that, that this is the intersection point. But in reality, it is not right. So if the duplicate elements are present in both lists, then this, this method will not work. If the duplicacy is there, if the duplicacy is there. So let us see that if our question is saying that it is commenting anything on the duplicates. So it is not commenting commenting on the duplicates. So this will be our method one. I will not I will not code this approach because a very simple, very naive code. What should be our method two? Can we optimize this as the GFG is asking to optimize it from O of n and O of n plus m and O of one, like the space complexity? Can we reduce the space complexity? Yes, we can. How we can do that? I am saying that. Um, what should we do? Let's calculate the length of the linked list, right? Right. So our list is what? Our list is like this: three, six, nine, fifteen, and thirty. And this is ten. And this is ten, and this is fifteen. So if I'm able to, if I'm able to make my pointer approach at this point, let's say as temp, and this pointer, let's say at y, right? So if I'm able to get both. The head, the head pointer of our shorter link list and the just the adjacent element right of our this link list second link list right so and if i now traversing from both the pointers like temp equals to temp dot next and y equals to y dot next then the next node will be our the common link list right so what can i do for this is that 
step one is to find the length of the first linked list so that will be one two three four five like the so first uh, ll length is five and find this length of the second linked list so it is three right so what i have to do to in the larger linked list so that i can present at this point right where the adjacent head is starting of the second linked list so what can i do is i can just subtract these two numbers so it will be five minus three that is two right so that means if i if i traverse two times let's say this is a variable d which is actually pointing to n minus m so if traversed d times d times In larger linked list then my temp will be coming here right right and and since we know that which is the longer linked list then we will make uh, they will make a second pointer at the head of the smaller linked list right so temp here and y is the pointer of smaller linked list and this is head pointer of This is for the larger linked list, like the adjacent head of adjacent head of larger linked list, right? And now we will just use a while loop and we'll traverse in both the direction one step ahead. And as soon as we we matches, as soon as it matches, then we will say that that's our point of intersection, right? So let's code it. Let's code it, right? So I hope this uh, intuition is very clear to you. We just have to find the both of the linked list. And in the larger linked list, we will traverse d times d is nothing but the length, the subtraction of length of larger versus the smaller one, right? Okay, so let's do this. So we will calculate the length of the two linked list, right? So let me pause the video here because the traverse, the uh, finding the length is a very uh, obvious code. I will pause it here and then resume again. And I recommend you to also write uh, the code yourself for calculating the length, and then you can resume. Okay, so I have written a for loop for calculating both the linked list length. So n is n is calculating the list which is starting at head one, and l m is the length of the list which is starting from head two, right? Now I need a d, the distance I need to travel in the larger linked list. So let's I'm storing it in a d variable, and d will be nothing but the the larger length minus the smaller n. So I will use an inline lift that if n is greater than m, then what you do is then what you do is you do n n minus m n minus m mm -hmm. else m minus n right let me zoom in a little bit for you mm, great great now i i need to traverse d times in my larger linked list so i need to do traverse d times in my larger link list so let's like let's make a node then that node let's say call it a temp so node temp is what i will just consider the inline if again so if n is greater than m that means n was supposed to maintain the length of head one right the thing which we have written the current equals to head one right <laughs> so if n is greater than m that means the temp should point to the head one right i will say head one or else it will be head two right similarly i will store this thing or uh, let's say i'm not so the temp will be the uh, what the starting point of <coughs> the larger link list the starting head point so i need to traverse it d times right so what i will do that while d is greater than 0 and then temp dot next is not equals to null i'm just traversing this node this pointer i had d times that is it so i will do d minus minus and then I will say that temp is equals to temp dot next, right? So now where I am? Now I am here. That I have I have made this pointer temp here pointing at this nine. At this nine, I need one more variable which will be pointing at the head of the smaller linked list. Let's say y. So how can I do that? That I will again use one inline if, right? That node y is if uh, I can use the inline if n is greater than m, that means the m is the shorter, m is the shorter length, and m is pointing to the linked list starting from head two, right? So I will say the head two here. Else, if 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 that's not the case, then I will say head one, right? All right. So now I have got the temp as well as the y pointer. So y pointer is nothing but the smaller linked list head.
and temp is pointing to after after this line 51 temp is pointing to the adjacent or let's say same level node same level node right as same level node in head one list in head one list yes smaller link list head that is head two here oh no i don't know which may be the case so smaller link list head and this is the same level node in larger link list let me write it that larger link list i hope this is clear now so step three would be we keep on traversing in the both link list one node ahead and as soon as anything matches that will be our intersection point right so i will say that while temp is not equals to null and and y is not equals to null then what i will do is i will first compare it that if temp is equals equals to y right then i just need to return either temp dot data or y dot data and i need to move both the pointers ahead so i will write temp is equals to temp dot next and i will write y is equals to y dot next right and if that's not the case like if that's not the case like there is no such intersection point so if there is no such intersection point the temp and y will never meet right it would be like there are two single link lists given in an example so the case i'm talking about is that it would be like two single link lists given and there is no intersection point so in that case they will the temp and y will never meet so in that case the question is saying that return minus one right so i will say return minus one so let's compile and run this case Okay, so there's some compilation error. Let me solve that for you. Right. Okay, so there are more compilation error. Okay, so the inline if I have not, I have missed this question mark symbol. That's why it is giving me syntax error. So great. The expected output and our output matches. So let's hit the submit button. The, the time complexity of this code is O of n. So and the constraint is 10 power 5, which will be less than 10 power 8. So it should get submitted if our logic is correct here. So as we can see, the, all the test cases passed. So that was it. Right. And using this inline if we were just able to store that which list is smaller and larger without even looking at it. Right. Without even looking at it. That was a, a great trick, as you say, to proceed in this question. So that was it. Let's meet in the tomorrow's streak of day 107. If you last thing that that's my DSL repository, you can start and fork to get help with the source code as well as my Instagram channel. And I can see that many of you guys are getting in touch and some of you are even uh, asking doubts in my Instagram post. So I highly, I really encourage that uh, you must ask the doubts. Either it is a very, a very small one. Uh, like you can even ask me that how the variables declared, right? So don't do not hesitate to ask that's because, because that's the way you will learn. So Ashish Kalyan, thank you for asking the doubt. So very good to have you guys here and uh, okay so till then keep learning keep growing and we'll meet again tomorrow in day 108 so bye bye take care